Hello, my name is Nicholas, and this video I'm going to be showing you science experiments, two science experiments. So, so um, I'm starting a new science experiment series called Science um, S S Awesome Science Experiments. And I'm going to, this is probably going to be a pretty long series because I've got, uh, like, this whole book of science experiments, and I got, um, one, uh, this, um, and I got this whole book of science, ex of household item science experiments. So, um, I'm going to be doing two science experiments in this one. I might be doing one, two, three, four. But probably not more than five. This time I'm going to be doing two very easy ones. So the things you'll need for one, for the first one, is I've got water here. You'll need um, vegetable oil or olive oil. And this experiment, it's going to be about density. And you might not know what density is. Density is the amount of mass per volume. So what it mean, what mass and volume mean, some of you might not know, mass is like the heaviness of something, you can think of it like that, or like how much stuff is inside it, or like how many molecules are inside it, or atoms, you can think of it, how many atoms inside it. And then volume is the amount of space the object contains or occupies. So again, I'm going to use for the first experiment all um, water and olive oil, and then you'll need some kind of measuring thing. Um, so what you'll need is like you can have two cups: one measuring cup, one normal cup. So what you can do is you'll um, you can measure the exact same amount of these, um, the exact same amount of millimeters. You can do one millimeter, eight millimeters, two millimeters, any millimeter. Milliliter. 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 Um, any milliliters, 20 milliliters, mattering on how big the thing is. So in this experiment, I'm going to be using 20 um, milliliters. So first, I'm going to put in the olive oil. So we're going to see if olive oil or water has, which one has more density. It will go to the bottom if it has more density because it's like heavier. So it'll have to go past the thing um, below it and to the bottom and make the other thing go up. And anyways, I've already done this experiment, but I won't tell you what's gonna, which one is more denser. See, if you look at it, water kind of looks a little more denser. I mean, like, water looks a little less denser. Because it, this looks like, like, thicker. Kind of looks thicker. So, first I'm going to put in 20 ounces of, I mean, 20 milliliters of olive oil. So let me get this, let me get this. First, you can just pour. No. It's take a long time. Mm, actually, I think I'll pour some first. You see there's like there's 20 ounces right here and I've done this much. So let me get up so I can see 20 ounces too. 20 milliliters. Okay, that's too much. 
I'll be back in a second. I'll pour a little out. Okay, one second. Okay, I'm back, and I poured out a little too much, so I'm gonna pour in a little more. Um, so I'm gonna pour just a little more. Okay, I'm gonna use this. Okay, I've got some in here. So let's see. Okay, that's about there. So now, get you a closer up. So now, watch very closely and watch what will happen because um, the olive oil will go to the top. Well, actually, let's see. So I'm gonna put 20 ounces of this till 40. Wait, I forgot something. Now watch it very closely when I put the water in. See like it made the bubbles and you can kind of see it's very light where the water is. Let's see. You see like the water is on the bottom here. So the water is more denser. So let's see, let me do it. Okay, let me get some in here. Okay, that's at 40. You see that it's, the water's like at the bottom, so the water's more denser. You see, the water's at the bottom here. And then the olive oil's like up here. Okay, so I'll, I'll, be, I'll, I'll be back in a second, and then we'll start the next experiment. 